Yo, what up guys, I'm Sam. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Past. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Ponage Sin 2. And this is the wide version. This is going for 60 bucks, which is, um, I guess, average. That's price. reasonable. Very reasonable. The wireless version is going for 110 bucks, though. $50 more, which is, I don't know about that, but you know, I do want to try that out. Still less know. than a Jeep for wireless. You know? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, this literally, so we pre-ordered this. It took them so long <laughs> to send this to us that the wireless version had come out by the time it arrived. Yes. I was so mad because this arrived and I checked their website and the wireless version was out, not even pre-ordered, it was just ready to be ordered. It took them so long. So do watch out for their shipping times. These guys take forever to ship. Yes. Um, but anyways, let's get to start off with the shape as always. And the shape is perfect for us. Uh, it's called the Sim because it is a symmetrical shape. And uh, it, it reminds me a lot of the Viper Mini. You know, it is a pretty, like on the smaller side of things and it fits my hand really, really nicely. And this is just one of those mice where it's like, I had no issues getting used to this. I was like, oh, let's play a game. Uh, let's play Doom or whatever. And then I was like, oh, this feels like a mouse that I've been playing with for like years, you know? So it's just an incredibly a versatile shape. You know, uh, the arch is pretty much in the middle. It's kind of towards the back, but it's very close to the middle of the mouse. And it just feels great for every grip style as well, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I fully agree. This felt great with every single grip style. And the thing I love about this is it feels like like the quality and like kind of the shape of like a Viper Ultimate, but with a higher arch, which I actually love because it makes it feel a little bit more towards the end, uh, towards like a G Pro Wireless, which is, that's my baby, you know? <laughs> um, and we did try the Sim one, so we do have a review on that out if you guys want to check that one out as well. I would definitely recommend buying the version. This is just all they had available for pre-order. Um, they do have a solid version, which comes with the solid back. They all come with the solid back um, and solid sides as yes. well. So I'd recommend that just for my own personal preference, but uh, it's up to you guys whether you're okay with the kind of like cheese grater type of, type of feel on the sides. I didn't like it. It comes with side grips too. So if you do want to cover it up, like if this is still the only version available, um, you can cover it up with the side grips if you don't prefer it. All right, moving on to the switches. Uh, we got KO 8.0s. And as you guys all know, we love KO switches. We don't really like Omron's all too much. We like a very nice, hearty, very punctual click. And that, look, look you guys want to hear? It's so good. It, it sounds nice, it feels amazing. One thing that I'm gonna nitpick on is that uh, the pre-travel is very short. So like right when you put uh, like pressure on the switch, then it clicks, you know? So I wish it was a little bit longer, you know? Like I did find myself accidentally clicking the mouse a little bit, uh, but you definitely do get used to it. But the click is amazing, guys. Yeah, and the good thing about this mouse, as you guys who, who may not have watched the video on the Sim 1 uh, may not know, you can actually take the back off and you can actually take the mouse buttons off too. You can adjust the button spacers um, and there's actually screws in here that you can adjust too, which adjust, adjust the click feel. Um, so you can go for more of a crisp and tactile click um, or just more of a softer, quieter click, just depending on what you want. Now, some of the other great things about this mice is actually that customizability, of course. Um, now you can, in this mouse, adjust the weight. It actually comes with different weights. Now this guy at its base, uh, they say weighs 55 grams. So let's go ahead and test that out. Um, and now that is gonna be with the honeycomb shell. We do have the solid shell on there. Um, so it goes from 55 all the way upwards to 82 grams, which is about G per wireless weight. Yes, uh, right now we got a 63 grams. And that is with no weights and solid shell on the top. Yes, and uh, one thing that I like though is that they add weights, right? It's a little like rectangular shape and you can also adjust each like there's like metal knobs, I would say, you know, metal cylinders in there that you can remove. So you can actually customize the weight of the mouse, you know, and uh, you can also adjust the center of gravity of it. You know, if you want to take just like the, the left side off or the, the middle, you can do anything. So this, it's just super customizable with uh, like how it looks and also the weight, which is really, really nice. I, I really like it. Yeah, I think that's awesome that you can also adjust sort of like the weight distribution, how you want it. So you can really customize so much of this to just be comfortable for you, um, which I absolutely love. It's definitely something that's that's nice to not have to like whip out a soldering kit and like tear <laughs> open the mouse and like yeah. drill holes and stuff like that, you know? And it's super easy, you know, like uh, a simpleton like me can even, you know, like pay, take this apart, right? So you got to take off the back shell first. You just kind of like, put your nail into the back here and then you just flip it off. It's held in by magnets and, and also the weights, you know, the rectangular weights, it goes right in here in the middle of the mouse and it's also held in by magnets. And then like, like Lucas mentioned, you can also switch the uh, mouse button cover. So yeah, we love how it feels. I, I actually liked 
uh, the heavier weight. You know, I actually put all of the weights in and it just felt a little bit nicer for me. You know, I like a, like not super heavy mouse. I, I like it in like the 80, maybe even 90 gram range. Um, but that's just me personally. Yeah, I actually liked it. I mean, I really liked it how it is. And we actually got these custom. We ordered these separately, um, this sort of blue colorway. And you can actually get a different color um, on the mouse buttons than the, the back of the chassis. So I think that's it's just sick, the customization you can do. It does cost a little extra to get different, different sort of color variations on there if you want to do that. Um, definitely worthwhile though. I mean, it's it looks sick. I love this color. Yeah. Um, and I was comfortable with it. I mean, using no weights in there, I would I probably wouldn't mind it with weights in there. Now, the issue that I had with the previous, the Custom Sim 1, and keep in mind, this was their first version of it. I know they have a second version now. Um, their first version, after we'd used it for a bit, it started creaking and stuff on the side. So like when you, when you would push in, this one's got maybe a tiny, tiny bit of creak. Um, but definitely nowhere near as bad as the as the Sim 1 got, and that happened after our review on it too, um, is when it started noticing the build quality issues. Now this one we've been using for a lot longer and haven't noticed any issues like that yet. And now moving on to the side buttons, the side buttons actually feel nice as well. The clicks aren't as hard as the mouse 1 and 2 buttons, but they're still like kind of nice especially comparing to like other side buttons and they protrude out as well. So no issues with the side button. The scroll wheel, not the most tactile steps, but uh, they're okay, I would say. And you got a nice little click on it as well. And then you have a DPI adjustment button here on top of the mouse. Moving on to the bottom, we got a uh, adjustable slider for your pulling rate. I don't know why you'd ever want 125 uh, hertz pulling rate, but you know, you can do that if you want. <laughs> you might hate yourself just enough <laughs> yeah. to do it. And then also on top and on the bottom of the bottom of the mouse, I guess, um, we got some pure PTFE skates. They are actually very, very thick. So I feel like they will last you a long time and it comes with an extra pair of skates as well. So I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously they're super smooth and super fast. So man, I love this. It's just a great mouse. Like the, it skates well. It felt so comfortable. Like immediately when I tried this guy, it felt so comfortable. And then just all the customization options that it comes with, there's no way that this couldn't be comfortable for everyone. Like there's no reason why it wouldn't be comfortable for like every sort of hand um, in some facet, like depending, depending on what grip you use, you can definitely make this comfortable for you. They do have software, which is optional. The drivers aren't required. You can do pretty much everything you need to without the drivers. Um, but they're there and the software actually looks really nice compared to the uh, the Sim 1, what it used to look like. Um, software is a lot better, so props to them on that. Yes, and also the wire, uh, it, it is paracorded and it's actually a very loose feeling wire, so you don't really have any issues with it. Of course, if we can have a wireless version of the mouse, then we would prefer that, but is it worth $50 more? I don't know, we'll have to see on that. Um, it's probably gonna take like three months for them to ship it, you know, with, for the wireless version, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that'll that be coming soon, right? <laughs> uh, also, the RGB is pretty cool. I mean, it does have a really cool underglow effect, but it is covered by your hand, which kind of sucks. I would have preferred it here in front of the mouse, but you know, there's that. And also we have RGB on the scroll wheel as well. Very important. Yes, uh, so I mean, overall, this is a great mouse, especially for 60 bucks, the amount of customization that you get. The shape is amazing. The clicks are freaking phenomenal. The skates are nice. And it's just, I feel like you get really good value. You get extra things in, in the box as well. And uh, this is one of my favorite mice to, to game with, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like like what you get in the box for that for that $60, just standard, right? You get your, you get your set color. I think the black or white are the only ones that are $60. Um, you get the, Regardless of if you get the solid one or the honeycomb, you get a honeycomb back and you also get a solid back. So if you want to change that, um, now you also get the four different button spacers so you can adjust those as well. You've got two different sets of each type of button spacer as well. So you've got extras if you want to play around with them. It also comes with all of the weights that you need. It also comes with the extra PTFE feet with the, uh, the 0.8 millimeter th thickness, which is awesome. Uh, it also comes with those side grips, which it just comes with so much in the box for $60. And also, we're not sponsored by Ponage. They didn't even send this out. We bought this with our own money. And uh, we're talking very highly of it. And it's, it's just a great product overall. And I mean, like, how much was the model? Like 50 bucks? Yeah. And they didn't even have extra skates, did they? 
I um, think they did. They did? They okay, did. but like as far as like the value and customization goes, I feel like this is probably the best mouse on the market or gaming mouse on the market that you can get right now. Yeah, so. as far as comfortability and as far as value for sure. Like yeah. like definitely. But they're shipping, dude. They gotta <laughs> guys figure it out. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it definitely is worth the wait though, I feel like, you know, like a couple I don't know about a couple months, but you know This like, is like final mouse tier <laughs> shipping. Yeah. Like, um but the overall product is amazing. Right? And uh, yeah, we would highly recommend this mouse. But anyways, that about concludes our review of the Ponage Sim 2. Uh, again, if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.